Can magnetic switching unlock free energy? Air gap secrets you must know first. Hey everyone, I'll be building a magnetic switching motor in the next video. But before that, let's break down one super important concept. Before we get to the actual build in the next video, we need to understand something called the parallel path magnetic circuit. This video explains the parallel path magnetic circuit, a method where two identical magnets are placed between ferromagnetic cores with their poles aligned in the same direction. This configuration concentrates magnetic flux toward one side, boosting magnetic force through multiple parallel paths. It's a key principle used in magnetic switching motors and other advanced magnetic systems. This image shows two different magnetic setups. On the left, the magnets are arranged with opposite polarities facing each other. In this case, the magnetic flux loops internally between the magnets and steel, meaning the force stays trapped inside the circuit it can't be used externally. However, the magnets are aligned in the same direction. This causes the magnetic flux to flow outward instead of looping inside. If we place a ferromagnetic material like steel on one side, it acts as a bridge, allowing the flux to complete its path and form a strong external magnetic circuit. This setup is ideal for generating free energy devices. This diagram shows how reversing the current in a parallel path setup flips the magnetic attraction. On the left, the force pulls one way on the right, it pulls the opposite. This switching effect is perfect for building a reciprocating magnetic motor, just change the current, and the force direction changes automatically. In addition, I'll demonstrate through controlled experiments why maintaining a proper air gap is critical in parallel path magnetic circuits, and what adverse effects occur when the gap is eliminated. This diagram shows a key feature of the reciprocating magnetic switching motor, the air gap. The air gap between the magnetic core and the moving armature controls how magnetic flux flows and where force is generated. If the gap is too small, the flux may short-circuit internally, reducing external force. If it's too large, the flux weakens and efficiency drops. Watch how the magnetic field appears through the film viewer. This setup uses one inch cubic magnets. They are intentionally smaller than the steel bars to avoid magnetic saturation inside the steel when two magnets are applied in a parallel path configurations. Carefully attach the second steel bar to avoid breaking the magnet. Let's verify the polarity. The 0.08 millimeter paper is inserted to make it easier to separate the steel bar later. This segment demonstrates how the magnetic flux redistributes when the magnetic circuit changes from an open to a closed state. No magnetic leakage is observed at this stage.
We've learned that without an air gap between the magnetic parts, strong residual force prevents quick polarity switching, posing a challenge for reciprocating magnetic switching designs. All right, let's test what happens when we bring two magnets together. When the steel bar is attached, you can see a slight magnetic flux leakage on the viewer due to the air gap created by the torn rubber piece. It's important to be very careful when working with powerful magnets as they can cause injury or damage if mishandled. With two magnets now in place, the attraction force has increased to more than three times its original strength. That's why it's very difficult to realign the attached bar on the left. No leakage seen. Steel handles both flux paths effectively. In this parallel path setup, the magnetic circuit through the left steel bar is fully established. However, when an additional path is introduced on the right, Part of the magnetic flux diverts to the shorter route due to the magnet's tendency to follow the path of least reluctance resulting in attraction on the right side as well. In the upcoming video, two coils will be installed and powered by a 30-volt DC supply. The coils are configured so that the magnetic field rotates either clockwise or counterclockwise depending on the current polarity. In the image shown, the field is set to rotate clockwise. Reversing polarity to activate pulling force on the right side. Switching current direction to induce left side pull. The video shows strong flux concentration on the left, but due to the absence of an air gap on the right, residual magnetic attraction persists, requiring a small amount of force to detach the bar. This time, let's insert a 0.36 millimeter thick sheet of papers. there's still a slight residual attraction. This time, let's test the left side again. We're seeing the same effect on this side as well.
This time, we'll use a one millimeter thick sheet of paper to simulate the air gap. No residual magnetism left now. Now let's try the opposite side. We get the same result. Key summary. A missing or tiny air gap weakens motor function. One millimeter gives the most stable performance. Thank you for your watching. Please subscribe my channel and like.